Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you're watching us from. My name is William with Data Psychoanalytics. In today's session, we are going to look at how you can leverage on Power Query for data cleaning and data preparation, which can take a lot of your time as an analyst. We are going to look at a simple example of how you can transform this kind of data set arrangement, which is very common when people are preparing budgets, probably this is one of the most common ways they prepare their budgets. So you have monthly units that have been uh, projected for each of the products in different channels. And you'd want to be able to analyze this vis-a-vis -vis the actuals for each of the months as you extract from your system. So you have the budgets done in Excel, but then your system generates the actuals for each of the products, different dates and uh, channels. So the idea is to first of all be able to transform this into a format that will be very easy to work with when it comes to working with let's say pivot tables. If you have used pivot tables you'd realize that this kind of arrangement of data will not work very well with pivot tables and therefore would want to have a column that indicates for us the channel and another one that gives us what is the product and then this 12 months arrangement of data, we shall collapse this and have two columns, one that will indicate for us what period we are talking about. And then the other column will tell us how many units of that particular product has been budgeted for. So we shall end up having a column for channel, another column for product, Another third column for the period, this period's up here, and another fourth column that will host the units that have been budgeted. In this other worksheet here, we've maintained the price list for each of the products. Let's dive in into how you can leverage on Power Query to rearrange this kind of data set and then do a lookup of the prices for each of the products so you can see how much in terms of the sales values you're expecting at each month and at the end of the year. So we are going to start off by loading this data set, the list price using Power Query. And by the way, for those of you who have not used Power Query before, Power Query is one of the add-ins that comes with Excel and it's available with Excel 2010 and 2013 as an add-in. It's free for download and once you download and install it will be part of your menus like what you can see on my screen here and it has various things that you can do with it for preparing your data generally for cleaning and shaping your data. With Excel 2016 and potentially for the upcoming uh, versions of Excel, Power Query is inbuilt and it will be found within the data menu under Get and Transform. The first thing we will want to do is to transform this table and convert it into a special table in Excel. You can do that in various ways the quickest being using a shortcut control T control T will generate this dialog box where you can just press OK to convert the table the other way you can do this is to go to home tab then look for this option for format as table and that you can choose your preferred style for your table so let me go with the first one. You can see I get the same dialog box and I press OK. Then once you convert it to a special table, let's go to design menu. Then give it a better name here. Instead of table one, let's call it list prices. 
remember no space for that name let's do the same for these budgeted numbers we highlight the entire list of numbers then I can use Control T press OK then from design menu then I can name this table let me call it uh, budgeted volumes press enter then we can load these tab two tables using power query so I'll go to power query menu look for this option for Excel data then from table from table click on that then it will open up for me the query editor as you can see up there the query editor and this is the same thing that you'll get when you're using power bi desktop it will give you the query editor with the same features so on this table we are not doing a lot of transformation the only thing we are going to check is what data type this two columns are and as you can see I'm in the item column and it's properly formatted as text then I can check the list price which is formatted as a whole number you can go with the whole number or decimal if you like depending on what you have now from this home tab you can see this button for close and load you have two options one for close and load and the other one is close and load two. the close and load will load this table again into your excel sheet but this close and load too gives you an option to just make a connection let's go with that so i choose only create connection if you're having excel 2013 and above you can choose add this to data model that's a lesson for another day so let's not tick that one for now then press load once you load you can see it gives you on the right side what we call workbook queries and it will list all the tables that you've loaded using power query there so let's come back to these budgeted volumes and do the same process go to power query then choose from table or range then uh, it opens up this query editor again and in this table we are going to do a number of transformations for this data as you can see I have some cells which are null because they were initially blank if you remember as I was loading so the first thing we want to do here is to filter out all the blanks using this product column so that we eliminate the rows that were blank from our data source so I'll come here and click filter the filter handle then I untick the null I leave the rest ticked as you can see now we've eliminated that row then the next thing we want to do is to fill these null cells with this item above for instance these cells here should be filled by the word supermarkets these two should be filled with agencies now to do that we come to this column select any cell then come to transform menu up there on the ribbon and look for this option to fill and we want to fill down so that the cells below for instance the agencies the cells below can be filled with the word agencies so i click down and you can see immediately you have the other cells filled up now what you'll notice as you do this if you haven't used power query before is that on the right side of the screen it records the steps that you're doing now if you're not happy with what you've done then you can click this X to delete that step and then you can go back one step to the previous state of your data we don't want to do that for now the next thing we want to do is now to make sure these columns from this January, Feb, all the way to December are put into two columns. Now, in this format of this uh, data, the way it is, we talk of these columns having been pivoted. They appear as though you've done a pivot table already. 
So we are going to do an action called unpivot. So we'll select these first two columns, which will not be affected. And then you can either right click and choose unpivot other columns or come to transform menu. Then from this option of unpivot columns, click on that small arrow and choose and pivot other columns. So when you do that, you can see what happens. Each of the months is put in its own column, then the value column, which we can rename actually, the attribute, we can double click the word attribute and call this one period. Press enter, make sure you type it correctly. Then the value we can call this one units. All right. Then at this stage, we want to be able to split this period column so that we have a column that indicates the year and the other one indicating the month. Now to do that, we are going to come to home menu and look for this option to split column. Then choose the option for delimiter if your data is having a separator from one piece of text to another. If you wanted to use the number of characters, then that can still work. Let's stick with by delimiter. Then you can specify custom or whichever other delimiter applies in your case. We type that period there or the full stop. We can choose the instances. So in this case, I can say leftmost delimiter and then press OK. As you can see, we have the year now, which we can label appropriately. Then we have period, which is the month label. At this stage, we are going to be able to look up the prices. If you open up the queries there, we have this table that has the prices and we can see there is this column called item, which has the products as can be seen from these other tables. So these are the same products. So we can use this as the basis to do the lookup. So when you're in this table, we are going to come to home menu and look for this option to uh, merge queries. Merge queries. We want to merge queries. We don't want to create a new table. Let's merge within this same table. So merge queries. Then we select the basis column. We are basing this on this column, the product column. Then choose the lookup table, which is our list price. Then select this column, which will be matched against the budgeted volumes table. Then down here, by default, it will give us left outer. That just means that include all the rows all the rows in your first table up there that and then look up their equivalent prices from the other table then let's press ok when you do press ok you get this other column called list prices that's the name of the table and then it can tell you these are table which you can expand using this button on that column click there then on this option, we just want to expand, but then as we expand, we just want the list prices. We already have the items or the products in our table, and we don't want to use original column name as prefix. We say OK, and immediately we can see the list prices. Then finally, we want to add a column that will give us now the sales value. So we go to add column menu up there. Then we can choose custom column. Custom column. Let's give it a name. What do you want to call it? Uh, well, let's just call it dollar. Then we put our formula here. It's equals to units. I double click that units from that right side. 
and I put the multiplication sign and multiply that with the list prices. Then I press OK. So we have now our dollars column. Now, if for some reason we don't want to maintain this list price column, we can right click it and say remove. Right click and choose remove. Then we can load this table in our data set. Come to home menu, then say close and load to. We want to load this converted table to a new table, not just create a connection. We want the table itself in a new worksheet. Press OK to load. And you can see immediately we have now the channels, the products, and the rest of the columns which we can use for our pivot tables. So based on this, we can do a normal pivot table from insert menu, pivot table, then let's say insert like that. Then I can drag channel to the rows, dollar to values, and you can see immediately I can do my calculations. If I had the actuals, I could be able to combine this with the budgets and do very nice summaries. So that's it for now. I hope you've learned something new and you're going to try it out. There are many, many scenarios that you can use Power Query for. So check out for our next videos on Power Query and how you can leverage it to save you loads of time when it comes to your data preparation. Please do not forget to subscribe below. See you.